The Zenfone Max Pro M1 was known for many things. The Snapdragon 636 chip, the huge 5000mAh battery, stock Android, and most important of all, the price. They got almost everything right. Almost. Yep, the phone wasn't known for its cameras. This time Asus is back, all guns blazing with the Max Pro M2, and it has entered a different price segment. It competes directly with the Redmi Note series now. Are the cameras better on than those found on Redmi Note 6 Pro? That's what you're gonna find out in this video. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Sundar, this is Technology Talk. Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. The Max Pro M2 sports a 12 megapixel Sony IMX486 sensor with an f1.8 aperture lens. The sensor size is 1 by 2.9 inches. While the Note 6 Pro on the other hand has an f1.9 aperture lens, so it's not as wide, but the 12 megapixel sensor itself is bigger at 1 by 2.55 inches. So the individual pixel size is 1.4 microns compared to 1.25 on the M2. Guys, if you don't know what these terms mean, terms like aperture, sensor size, uh, f1.9, etc. and their significance, click this card and watch that video. I've explained every single thing in detail in very simple terms. You'll be able to understand everything easily. So back to the video, both phones have a 5 megapixel secondary camera for collecting depth information for portrait mode. When the lighting is good, like during daytime, the photos coming out of both devices are almost equally good. They are very pleasing to the eye. Some blemishes do crop up on both devices, like at times the Note 6 Pro renders an oversaturated image, especially when you enable the AI mode. Sometimes it also overexposes the subject. Look at these flowers. They are supposed to be pink in color, but they are almost white on the image shot with the Note 6 Pro. But then it excels at selecting the right white balance setting. Here in this comparison, the Max Pro M2's image has a bit of a pink tint, as in it's kind of pinkish. Sometimes it's also cooler than it should be, cool as in it's, it's kind of bluish. Same here. The dynamic range is also slightly better on the Note 6 Pro's images. Here on the M2's image, the sky is totally blown out, there is no detail, but on the other image, you can clearly see the sky. Same here. Look at the sky. So yeah, there are these minor issues that crop up on both devices, but in my experience, I found the Note 6 Pro to be more consistent with nailing the perfect shot. Now guys, some of these issues can be avoided by using the Google Camera app. If you want to know how to install it on your Max Pro M2, uh, click this link and watch that video. It just takes 5 minutes to install. But then I'm not using any Google camera samples for this comparison because technically the Google camera app can also be installed on the Note 6 Pro, just that it will take a lot more time. And more importantly, not everybody watching this video would be interested to do all that technical stuff to install a third party application. So yeah, back to the comparison. To complement the great daylight performance, the Note 6 Pro also has some cool features in portrait mode, like different types of light trails, bokeh shapes, and studio lighting options. So for daylight photography, if I have to pick one of these, I would go with the Note 6 Pro. But as we saw, the differences aren't very huge. But when it comes to selfies, the Redmi Note 6 Pro's 20 megapixel front-facing camera easily takes the crown. Look at the comparison. The Note 6 Pro's selfie has better skin tones, better color representation, more detail, and better dynamic range. Let's zoom in. The M2 selfie looks like it was shot with beauty mode enabled, but it actually wasn't. The Note 6 Pro shows way more detail. In this comparison, look at the background on the M2 selfie. A huge part of it is overexposed, because the phone doesn't have a HDR for the front camera. On the other hand, the Note 6 Pro has HDR, and that's the reason why the overall exposure is much better. One more thing the M2 doesn't have is portrait mode for the front camera. But it is arriving soon via software update uh, before the end of December. Even then, it will use only one camera for portrait mode, while the Note 6 Pro has a secondary 2 megapixel depth sensor, which does an amazing job. The portrait selfies are lit. Let's now move on to low light photography. This isn't gonna be easy to judge, but let's give it a shot anyway. 
some issues that the M2 had in good lighting conditions, they seem to exist here as well. It's a bit cooler than it's supposed to be, uh, but the crazy wide f1.8 aperture helps a lot in capturing more light. In some cases, the M2 creates more noise in the image, like the one we already saw, and here as well. But if we zoom in, we can see more detail on the image shot with the M2. Here the veins are more prominent on the M2's image. But to be frank, overall the lack of noise and better color reproduction makes the Note 6 Pro's images look more pleasing to the eye. Last but not least, video recording. One big difference here is the Zenfone Max Pro M2 can shoot 4K videos, while the Note 6 Pro can do only 1080p. So the Max Pro's footage looks sharper, obviously. But if you take sharpness out of the equation, the Note 6 Pro's got everything else right. The color reproduction is marginally better and the dynamic range is noticeably better as well. Let me pause the video. Here the trees are slightly brighter on the Note 6 Pro's footage and look at the sky. On the M2's footage it's completely overexposed while on the other footage only a part of it is overexposed. You can see a bit of orange here. The kind of orange that uh, comes up during sunset. The Note 6 Pro's footage is cropped because it's using EIS or electronic image stabilization. It's available on the Max Pro M2 as well but only during 1080p recording. The stabilization is great on both devices. But if you watch very closely, you can see some sort of warp effect on the M2's footage. It looks a bit like jelly effect. It happens when there is a strong sudden shake. Not really a big deal but worthy enough to be noted. So that's it, the Note 6 Pro keeps the crown. It has the best cameras in this segment. But that said, the differences aren't very glaring. Like most of the shortcomings on the Max Pro M2 can be fixed by software updates. Like the cool look of the images, that's just changing white balance, that's just improving automatic white balance settings, uh, the occasional pink tint, front camera HDR. In fact, you can also use the Google camera app to avoid all those issues. But the M2 has a lot more desirable features like the super fast Snapdragon 660 chip, the humongous 5000 mAh battery and so on. So unless you really badly want that extra bit of camera performance, you should consider other features as well before deciding which one to buy. As in camera shouldn't be the major factor uh, for you to choose a device. Hit thumbs up if you agree with the conclusion or if you have a different perspective, always feel free to post it in the comment section below. I'd really love to know your thoughts as well. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more videos like this, for more tech content. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sundar, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.